Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lecture we're going to learn how to build a Hello World Plutus contract with the Plutus Playground. The official online code editor for Plutus can be found at playground.plutus.iohkdev.io. Here you can code in Plutus online and simulate running these smart contracts and interacting with them. So join me at this web link and click on the Hello World demo file. You can also just copy all this code or type it in. We will provide all this code for you in the source files for this section. So this is a basic Hello World file that is created whenever you click on that Hello World tab here on the Plutus Playground. You can see it has some comments in green which you can create a comment by using two dashes. Comments are not read by the compiler, they are ignored. So you can remove all the comments if you'd like and it will not change the effect of the contract or the file. So here we have our Plutus file on the Plutus playground. At the top of the file we have some imports. We're importing Haskell packages that are used in this file. So first we import data.txt, we import playground.contract, plutus.contract, plutustransactions.prelude, and prelude qualified as Haskell. So these are helper Haskell packages that we're using in this file. Next we define our first function called hello. It is of type contract. This function hello takes in some text. Then after we've defined the function we are giving it a value by using log info which comes from Haskell. This will allow you to take a string and log it to the logs. So print it to the logs. In this case we are taking a Haskell string that says hello world and we're going to log that. Next up we define another function called endpoints which is also the contract type and takes in a piece of text. We set endpoints to equal hello. Then we create a type dummy schema and assign it to equal an endpoint of dummy. Then we make the schema definitions for our dummy schema and we pass in make known currencies as a function that is exposed to be accessed. So this is our contract file. These two lines 7 and 8 they define the contract. Then we also define the endpoints and the rest of the setup. So this is a basic Haskell file. We can then hit the compile button in the top right hand corner. This is going to read the code and make sure there are no errors. If there are any errors then you have to fix them before you can use the contract. So I hit compile and I don't see any errors which is a good sign which means I can then go to simulate. This will take me to the Plutus playground simulator and we're going to go into detail about the Plutus simulator shortly but what you need to know is if you hit evaluate this will run the contract at this base level. There's also more information that you can see and more complicated transactions that you can create and more complicated interactions. Then after a few seconds you can scroll down to see your logs and you should see hello world being logged out. Why? Well because that is what our contract defined should be logged out. You can return to the editor in the top right hand corner and you can change hello world to something else like mammoth interactive then you can recompile the contract because you made a change to it wait for the compilation to finish and this will allow you to run your contract again with the new changes so we can hit simulate and evaluate again this time we'll have a different string logged out because we're passing in a different Haskell string to be logged. So I can scroll down again. This time I see Mammoth Interactive is being logged out. So that is an example of building a basic Hello World Plutus contract and testing it out. So join me coming up next. We're going to go into detail explaining what is this simulator. Previously we learned how to build a Hello World smart contract with Plutus on the playground. 
In this lecture, we're going to go into detail about how to test your Cardano Haskell smart contracts with the Plutus Playground Simulator. So first, you'll type out your Haskell contract in the code editor, then you'll compile it, and then you'll hit simulate once the compilation is done. This will take you to the Plutus Simulator, where you can define complex scenarios with multiple agents trading and communicating over the Cardano blockchain, or you can just run your contract as is. Once you hit evaluate, this sends the simulation to the server alongside the source code of the app. When the server finishes running the simulation, the transactions panel is displayed and presents to you the results of what happened after your transaction happened. So you see here the blockchain, the inputs, the balances carried forward, the final balances, the logs, and the trace. You can hit close at any time to return to the simulator. So let's explain first what happens before we hit evaluate. We have wallets where we can add initial wallets and click one of the function calls inside the wallet to begin a chain of actions. These wallets are pre-funded so you can test out performing transactions and signing them. So I can add a new wallet or I can remove wallets. I can add a dummy wallet or I can pay to a wallet. Then you also have actions. This is the action sequence. You can click evaluate to run these actions against a simulated Cardano blockchain. So I can add that I want to pay to wallet, increase the Lovelace and select a different recipient. Then I can add another wait action. And this is my action sequence. If I hit evaluate, we're going to execute that action sequence alongside running the actual contract itself. As well, you can see your transactions once you have hit evaluate. So this is my previous run. When you do evaluate, you get taken to transactions, which has several sections. First, the blockchain section. Here, you can click a transaction for details. So if you run multiple transactions, you'll see them all here. Each simulation is run on a fresh blockchain. Our simulation resulted in a single transaction called slot zero, TX zero, slot zero transaction zero. Let's say I hit evaluate again. We can then wait for the evaluation to complete. This time we have our action sequence that is slightly larger. Okay, and we have our transactions again. So again, our contract gets refreshed every time you hit evaluate. So for that reason, we still see only one transaction because our contract only had that one. This is the initial transaction that distributes funds to the simulated agents. So we can see here this blockchain section. We can see the inputs and outputs of the transaction and other details. We can also see a balance of each address after the selected transaction. So here we have our inputs where we have the transaction hash, hash the validity, the signatures. We have the forge amount and the wallets with their public key hash and the amount of Lovelace they have, which refers to a fraction of ADA coin. ADA being the native coin which you use to sign transactions or pay for transactions on the Cardano blockchain. You also can see your balances carried forward and your final balances. If you only have a single transaction, the final balances are the same as the balances carried forward. We also see a logs where you can read messages that were produced by the emulator during the simulation. We can see the initial transaction, if it was validated or not, as well as the slot number and the app running in each wallet produces its own log message. So that's why we see the log message run twice, Mammoth Interactive, Mammoth Interactive from our Hello World contract. Why? Well, because each wallet runs the app. And we can see if validation succeeded or failed for our contract. We also see our trace, which contains detailed information about the emulator that's useful for diagnosing. So our results were these two instances of Mammoth Interactive in the logs because our contract called 
a function to log a string. Each of the wallets has its own application instance with its own state, which is why we see Mammoth Interactive appear twice in the emulator logs. So that is an overview of the Plutus Playground Simulator. I will see you next time. If you liked this video, then go to training.mammothinteractive.com. We have tons more content on blockchain, web development, machine learning, and much more. We also have a membership for just $19 a month where you can get access to our 372 course bundle and counting.